Okay, good evening for everybody. My impression that the good weather not influence the good direction in the radio participation. Okay, but during the fourth semester, the trend is, is opposite. Increase week by week number of participants, but recently approaching to the direction of summertime. So, uh, we met last time in two weeks ago, and if you remember the last uh, topic, which I tried to demonstrate, I tried to show, I tried to analyze, this is the crisis, deepest crisis, whole of European civilization. This is the crisis of 14th century. 14th century, when one third of European population died, disappeared. Probably you remember uh, to the diagram about the trends of European population. European population, according to estimation, in the second century, and the dominant, estimated a little bit under 50 million. Uh, in the sixth century, in consequence of the devastation of the uh, age of migration, decreased around 20, 23 million. Uh, to the 10th century, in consequence of political and economical cons consolidation, reached again a 50 million. To the 14th century, reached the highest level, never ever in the, 14, in the Middle Ages, 90 million. 90 million and approach the demographical city carrying capacity of European agriculture. The consequence of the uh, border case situation uh, appeared one break, one breaking mechanism. This is the plague epidemics. And the one third of European population during one decade died in consequence of black death. If we, have, we try to follow trajectory, demographical trajectory of European population, this is the trend. In the heyday of the early 14th century, a great collapse, a demographical disaster. Uh, to my best memories, we survey the trend of uh, this uh, proliferation of uh, epidemics uh, origin of uh, plague, it's a bacterial infection, some uh, picture about the symptoms of plague and uh, distribution of the uh, way of distribution of pandemic uh, epidemics was the red one, red direction, a great silk roads and proliferated whole of Europe, almost whole of Europe, only peripheral area, northern and eastern part of Europe uh, reached uh, less level, lower level, but high density of population central and western Europe, the devastation was unimaginable. Uh, which was the reaction? This was almost the last slide in the last week. Uh, creation of scapegoats. Who are the responsible for the, for the disaster? Aliens, not from the space, aliens from the neighborhood, and the favorite aliens in the Christian uh, world, Jews, Muslims, and Armenians. My question, Armenians why? Armenians why became a uh, scapegoat? Because Armenians are Christian. No harm, Christian, Christian only Christian. For example, Calvinists, Lutheranian, Armenians, and uh, Baptists, uh, Christian. Different direction of the of the of the Christian done. Why? Other direction of the Christian done. Heretics, according to Roman Catholic Church, Armenians heretics. A Calvinist heretics, Lutheranian heretics, and the most fierceful, the fight of faith between the different branches of uh, of uh, uh, direction of uh, of uh, Christian. A little bit the same uh, situation in the in the case of Muslim faith. 
In the Muslim faith, there are a lot of different directions. There are Muslim students in the audience. Okay, in the Muslim student, you can correct my uh, argumentation if necessary, but in the Muslim world, uh, there are a lot of different directions, but two directions dominated the religion of Muslim world, Shiites and Sunnites. And, sorry? Sunnites and Shiites. 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 It depends on the pronunciation, American or, or British. Uh, Shiites. It's a British version. Uh, and uh, which was the most fearful conflict in the Muslim world between the Seeds and Sunni? Why? Because look each other as heretics. And the civil war is the most cruel. Not by chance, for example, in the European history, the Reformation and counter-reformation during the early uh, modern time, 16th and 17th century, killed a lot of million Christian people from France to Central Europe, everywhere. For example, the 30 years war organized basically, officially, for religious conflict. Okay, therefore, this is the reason why Armenians became very, very easy mother uh, victims of uh, uh, creation of scapegoats. Women. In the case of women, as I knew two weeks ago, the basic problem is celibacy and the not acceptance, not perform of celibacy in everyday practice in European uh, world. Flagellants. <coughs> I spoke about the flagellants. Flagellants, this was a great human. One million member had the brotherhood of flagellants. Flagellants argumentation, flagellant conclusion, we are responsible for punishment of God. Therefore, walk on the street and beat it themselves. And the officials didn't like, the state didn't like the flagellants. Why? Because according to conclusion of the flagellants, the judgment day, the total destru destruction of the verb approaching. Therefore, not necessary to pay taxes and fees. And the government and politicians and the officials don't like the people who don't want to pay taxes. And therefore, rich army destroyed the community of flagellants. Come back. Flagellants. And look at the defense. This is the official scapegoat creation mechanism. The first one, quarantine. Quarantine, this is the uh, best uh, manner, best form of defense before the modern clinical curing of the late 19th century. If somebody arrived from infected area close to one camp, one building, one cave, one close place, anyway, and wait, 40 days. Quarantino in uh, Italian language mean 40 days, 40, and it means 40 days. And after 40 days, no any symptoms may continue the war. Uh, this is the quarantine, quarantine or quarantine. The second one, extenuation of disease bacteria. Extenuation mean two ways. It's possible, I argued in the last occasion. Two ways. The first one, uh, generation by generation, there are three forms of bacteria. Strong, middle strong, and weak. Evolutionary logic, which is the most successful. The weak. Why? Because the strong bacteria kill very, very quickly the infected person. No chance for proliferating infection. Therefore, the strong bacteria, a suicide bacteria, kill themselves. Not only the infected person, but uh, kill, kill the strong bacteria too. This is a little bit the same situation in the middle, uh, strong, 
and finally only the bacteria left are generation by generation. Therefore, the population of bacteria became weaker and weaker and weaker and weaker. <laughs> Look at the other side, infected person. Some part of the population, some part of the population, there were natural immunity. Natural immunity, I don't know why. It's consequence of evolution. And uh, higher chance, the people for survival who had natural immunity. Therefore, in the following generation, the rate of natural Im immunity aggregated, increased, increased, increased. Therefore, there is a climax point, point of disappearing, when the bacteria became weaker and weaker and weaker, the population natural immunity is stronger and stronger and stronger, and at one point, without any modern clinical curing, plague disappeared. It's happened in the middle of the uh, 18th century, 1740s, naturally disappeared the plague. Some local places, time by time, for example, uh, there is a student from Romania, Romania, no? Uh, from Romania, in Romania, for example, Delta of Danube River, time by time, infected person appeared. Therefore, some local uh, infection somehow survived. But, epidemics, no, after the day of middle of 14th century, 18th century, sorry. The second one, the conclusion of the contemporaries, somehow the reason of disaster, of natural disaster, not natural, demographical disaster, overpopulation, sorry, overpopulation. How possible to solve the overpopulation? Necessary regulate the output, the offspring, the number of children, which are the most efficient. Later we will analyze. Try social techniques, try to decrease the level of overpopulation. Uh, which hunting became a general event in Europe only in the 16th century. The witch hunting in the 14th century is exceptional. In Middle Ages, not a typical move. Okay. <coughs> Look at the self-regulating family system. Self-regulating family system means a local society, villages, community, community of cities, somehow try to regulate a fertility. You know what I mean the fertility, it's a demographical term. How many children? born in the following generation. Basically, it's possible you remember a uh, statistical, statistical demographical simplification. Look at one husband and her, his wife. Uh, in this point of view, demographical fertility dominate and direct basically the age of women. Age of women. Statistically, the fertile period calculated between 40 and 40 <coughs> year period. In this time, the demographical statistic calculate every second year possible one birth. Women calculate 26 year uh, during 26 year fertile period, it's possible 13 births. But necessarily simplified uh, a little bit, we may calculate with 12. Why important? Because, because half of uh, children die. Infantile mortality is very high, 50 persons. 50 person. Therefore, it's possible only half of birth to live until adult age. We, this is the demographical growth capacity of traditional society. This is the maximum demographical fertility. But if we calculate, for example, with two of parents able to try, able tribe of 
community somehow necessarily decrease the fertility, which is the most efficient techniques uh, of uh, decrease of fertility. Changing the age of first marriage. This is the fertility period of women. High infant mortality rate. Age of first marriage, the most important tool, device of change of fertility. How? For example, in low density of population period, possible to marry even 40 years old women. For example, I uh, cited, I remember, the history, the, uh, the dialogue of uh, Romeo and Juliet. I cited, no? Uh, yeah, uh, Juliet was 40 years old. This is the official starting date of marriage and fertility too. In optimistic and recovery period, majority of European women married 40 years old and apply whole of uh, fertile capacity. But in crisis period, for example, in the history of uh, England, a Tudor period, a Tudor period, Tudor dynasty period, late 15th and uh, 16th century, was one of the most critical period, crisis, deep, deep, deep uh, social economical crisis. Lost, for example, the Hundred Years' War, uh, lost any continental connection, dep economic depression, it's a crisis. It's a crisis. This was the period of blood law. Very, very cruel punishment for beggars, uh, for thieves, for everybody who are criminals. And in this period, the Tudor period, the Tudor period, average, average age of first marriage of women was 30 years old. 30 years old. Late marriage, not a modern invention. Even in the traditional time, applied the late marriage. Why? Because decreased the fertility. Why important? Because England in the 16th century in a deep crisis. Look at the fertile period in the English women shrunk to 30 to 40 years. 10 years. During the 10 years, there is a possibility for four births. In consequence of high mortality, left only two. Therefore, decrease the speed of fertility to simple recovery of society. How function? How function the uh, self-regulating system? With the custom law. Do you know what I mean the custom law? Fork law? A local people, there is a, a student from the uh, faculty of law. No? Custom law. <coughs> Everybody know what I mean the custom law? Okay. Very important, during the, tradition, during the traditional Europe, the most important guiding force is the law, a legal system. In the modern time, economy is the driving force. For example, you are uh, watching the news in the paper, newspaper, electronic newspaper, in TV, radio, which is the most important news? GDP data, growth of strength. But in the traditional time, the legal system directed all of the life. If somebody, for example, born one social status, nobleman, peasant, citizen, is directed the frame all of the life. All of the life. No possibility stepping one or two other. It's directed. I'm a peasant. Therefore, I have to live in the frame of peasants, Category, social category. This is the same in the nobility. And for example, a Romanian nobleman, much closer to Hungarian nobleman, or for example, Polish nobleman, than to Polish, Hungarian, and, uh, and Romanian peasant. The social distance is much higher. Okay, uh, turn back. Uh, and uh, the custom law is the strongest one uh, between the medieval 
than the early modern legal system. Life expectancy is very short, but very important to mention that, uh, okay, but first question. According to your opinion, male and female birth higher. Uh, my question is that uh, if we compare the rate of male and female birth, which is the higher? Male. Male. Which is the proportion? Approximately. For example, we calculate one female. Uh, how many? Uh, 100 female to 100 female. How many male? 100? It's like 120. No, 105. Yeah, yeah it's, it's global. It's global. Why? Why higher the male birth? Which is the biological reason? Because this is the biological uh, conclusion. Which is the biological reason much higher? Somebody? Because this is the same situation in the case of American, Asian, European, Africa, everywhere. This is the same in normal situation. No influence uh, uh, civilization because some civil civilization there is a, a artificial manipulation of the birth. For example, in China, uh, in consequence of uh, official government regulation of the of the birth. The construction of male more fragile, and in consequence of that, a biological evolution overestimated, overestimated, uh, and very interesting how change the proportion uh, during in the modern situation, in the modern situation uh, in, until the 20 years old decreased the proportion 100 to 103. And which is the equal age, according to your opinion? When in Hungary, in Denmark, in everywhere, the same. And inspire the differences. Which is the age when became equal? And upper or under 35, the proportion, the proportion of male decreased in 70, 17 years old population in Hungary, in Hungary. Eighty to twenty. Eighty to twenty. It's fine. A lot of reason. For example, uh, health consciousness, uh, customs. A lot of reason. Not interesting for us. But turn back to the basic story. Life expectancy. But in, in the point of view of life expectancy, there were and there are critical period. In the traditional age, the most critical period was the infantile period, under 10 years old. Half of population died before the 10th anniversary. Recently, look at this calculation, this statistical data, which is the most critical period. <coughs> after 45 years old age. 45 years old age, the life expectancy of Hungarian and generally uh, European male down. Okay, but life expectancy, it's a general data, but life expectancy in this case means at birth, at birth, because possible to calculate life expectancy to each age. For example, life expectancy to 20, life expectancy 30. I am, for example, uh, uh, 50, 53 years old, 
and my life expectancy better than five years before. Because in the case of Hungarian male population, around 50 years old, there is a high rate of cancer and stroke and a lot of, lot of, lot of uh, different uh, 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 sickness. And I survived this critical period and improved the life expectancy. Okay, statistical demographical data. To uh, continue the analyzing of, uh, of 14th century crisis. Uh, feudal economy in this situation after the crisis turned two directions. The one direction saved the feudal structure, which is the feudal structure. The feudal structure means that separation, a local community, local feudal lords, and separa separa uh, separation of, uh, of uh, local power. Develop this direction Poland and southern part of uh, the southern part of Italy. Other direction, a centralized, a centralized and integrated state. This is the way of England, this is the way of France, and this is the way of Russia too. A centralization. And this is the highway of European development, Euro European history. Why so important the state formation and, uh, and political and economical uh, centralization? Lower, generally lower the seigneurial dues, the fees which necessary to pay by serve to feudal lords. The second one uh, decreased the coordination failure uh, and uh, decreased the influence of urban monopolies for economic production. Systematized legal clothes, uh, rates, measures, and coins. Reduce the rulers' opportunity uh, and the local laws for stationary banditry. Okay, form of adaptation. Look at the form of adaptation. Uh, very important, uh, very important peculiarity of, uh, of uh, uh, 15th century after the crisis improved the living standards. Look at decrease the population. Decrease the population, therefore, had to pay higher wage for survival population. Uh, for example, statistical, economical, statistical, historical, statistical analysis created living standard comparison between different centuries. The highest one, the highest living standards produced at 20th century. The highest living standards. 20th century. But the second one, the second highest living standard produced a 15th century. It's very surprising because according to modern logic, we thinking in continuous rising of living standards. It's not true. Living standards of life expectancy change century by century. The first one, in consequence of industrial revolution and a lot of uh, consequence of industrial revolution, of course, the 20th century. But the second one, the second one, 15th century, in consequence of great decrease of population. But my question, how possible compare the living standard of uh, 20th century, its modernized society, and the 15th century, which basically differ? How possible? There is some idea. It's different. Traditional model. How possible to convert? Do you know the term basket of consumation? Basket of consumation. For example, there is a carpenter, artisan, carpenter, receive a salary, for example, 25 coins. And possible to analyze not only in the 20th century but even in the 15th century how many part of salary used for food, for example, for textile, cloth, 
choose how many percent for entertainment, how many percent save, and basket of consumption, using of salary, basket of consumption make comparable in different age, even the age of old dynasty of Egypt, compar comparable the recent Hungary or United States or China, everywhere, basket of consumption. How many, for example, during the crisis, almost 10, almost 100 person used for food. If increase the proportion of saving and, and for example, cloth, uh, entertainment and so, this is the indicator of rising of living standards. Okay, agriculture, in the frame of agriculture, appear a new crops. For example, Islamic countries arise and disappear, proliferated in, in that time. Rice, spinach, sugarcane, artichoke and eggplants in Southern Europe. Hops in Northern Europe, not only for beer, and flax across all of the continents. <coughs> Look at the forms of adaptation. Uh, very important are monet monetary unions. A monetary unions. Very important because not necessary increase expenses of trade with changing money one part to other. The second one appear the first gold currencies in Europe. Simplify the great dimension of uh, of offers. The first. Uh, Florentine Florin, the second one, Venetian packets, it uh, became an uh, international benchmark, like recently the American dollars. And very important, organized regional fairs, regional fairs, like in the case of Champagne and Brie. Uh, in consequence of, uh, of uh, epidemics, increased the urban population. It's very important peculiarity of traditional, traditional crisis. Why? In the case of modern crisis, for example, during the Second World War, which is the normal reaction for survival, escape, escape from urban area, escape from the city to rural area. Why? Because in rural area there is a chance for finding some kind of feed. But in the traditional time, opposite. During the crisis, everybody moved to the city. Why? Because in the city was a chance for survival. Why? Because in the real rural area, it's very simple agriculture. In the feudal, in the medieval agriculture, name wheat wine agriculture. Why? Because only one cereal, generally wheat, dominating agrarian production. If one city, oh, sorry, one village, the harvest is bad, generally, probably, whole of the region. Therefore, no chance for compensation. Why good idea walking to the city? Because in the city had a church. And the church, there is a mandatory alms giving. Do you know what means alms? Money or, or material, for example, feet. First, church. Secondly, the governmental granaries located to the cities. Therefore, a local governor support the beggars with arms, similar. And the rich man of the city realized that in critical situation, in the first phase of upheaval, a revolt, the first victim of the crowd should be a rich people, therefore army. Moreover, in the city, very high the probability there is a 
some kind of uh, labor, work, case work at least. Therefore, in the traditional society, during the crisis, rural peasant population moved to the cities and large part stayed and left in the cities. Uh, marketing and distribution system, of course, improved. Uh, more people lived in the towns and the large area of the rural Europe devastated. And uh, from the city lodging, much flexible stepping to the market of the job of the labor market. Why? Because during the sowing and plowing and harvest time moved from the city, guest, guest worker, and after the uh, uh, heyday of the rural, of the agrarian work, moved back and lived in the city which have the farms and uh, case works. Urban, <coughs> urban uh, sorry, some kind of infection, but I hope not to play. Uh, region, regional structure, urban regional structure, reform <coughs> appear new quickly urbanized area after the Black Death the first one southern and northern western part of Italy Castile um, and uh, not by chance Castile became uh, the core area of forming Spain Holland is a province not the whole of the country southern Germany and oppositely uh, stagnated and declined a former very developed urban area like Flanders, Tuscany, Sicily and Catalonia. Uh, market after the crisis became deeper and wider. Appeared, for example, a pan-European cattle trade, for example, from Hungary, drove the cattle to uh, Bohemia, Czech land, to Vienna, to northern part of uh, the northern part of Italy, from Massif Central, this is the central French mountain area, to the direction of Paris, and in the case of British Isle, from Scotland and from Wales, drawing path, draw huge quantity of cattle to the basin of London and appear a metal uh, trade networks similarly. How we can conclude the most important uh, consequences of the uh, 14th century crisis? This is the conclusion of Stefan Robert Epstein, professor of London School of Economics. Uh, he concluded the uh, most important consequences of the uh, 14th century crisis in very seminal, uh, very seminal uh, study in the next manner. Look at the late medieval crisis is the best understood as an exogenous demographic shock which triggered, do you know what I mean the trigger? This is the trigger, trigger, no good Hungarian translation, triggering effects, a trigger, this is the launch of weapons. If somebody push, not possible to stop the chain reaction. Okay, uh, trigger the process of institutional creative destruction. Somebody know what mean the creative de destruction? Somebody listened about the creative destruction? Oh? Uh, students of uh, Faculty of Economics? Creative destruction? Oh? Oh? Creative destruction created by uh, Austrian, uh, Austrian economist <coughs> Joseph Schumpeter. In the middle of the 20th century, published a lot of uh, uh, published a lot of studies about the formation of capitalism and uh, thank you. and uh, creative destruction, a key concept of modernization. Why? Because according to historian, uh, time by time, the flow of history not possible to flow without problems. There is a barrier. And in this situation, it's a metaphor, it's very confused, but metaphor, the history of Rome. And 
destroyed lot of Ilama of the settled population and the settled political structure. Like, for example, in the case of revolution, French revolution, Bolshevik revolution. But very important conclusion of uh, Joseph Schumpeter that beside the destruction, this break, this disaster, if able to open the way for natural process. Therefore, each of disaster, social, political, economical, natural disaster, somehow open the way for new dimension, new possibility of development. This is the case, for example, in the case of the most, uh, the, the greatest disaster, the Bolshevik Revolution. During the Bolshevik Revolution, according to estimation, 10 million people died. But opened the way for modernization of Russia or Soviet Union. Very high price, very high price. Look at, for example, the case of 14th century. A 14th century crisis died 30 million Europeans. But opened the way. Opened the way for political centralization and opened the way for capitalism and market-oriented development of European economy. Therefore, if we are finding the origin of modern Europe came from this disaster. Open the way, destroy the few large area of Europe, destroy the few the field of work, and open the way for modern structure. Continue. Creative destruction that raised the West European economy to a higher growth pace, aligning incentive structure more closely with the exploitation exploitation of technological potential, which is the importance of the disaster, great disaster, open the way for modern Europe. Very high price. One third of European population disappeared. Okay? Look at the next slide series. How continue the history of Europe? If we are Taking over you about uh, European history, the first age of feudal medieval Europe. Two poles, northern poles with low country and Hanseatic liquid Baltic Sea, southern poles with Italy, northern Italian cities, and between these poles, a meeting point, Champagne, uh, fair of the Champagne. This is the medieval Europe, medieval European economy. This Europe by 14th century crisis. The next, cha next chapter of uh, development of European economy uh, connected to Venice. Venice are uh, northern Italian cities. Why? Which circumstances open the way for Venice? Uh, this uh, map demonstrates well how decreased the income of the state in Europe, after, before and after the, the crisis of the 14th century. The larger circle, before the crisis, before the disaster, and the smaller, after the disaster. Look at, for example, in the case of England, more than half of tax income lost by English government. Not by chance, lost the 100 years war. Because the army of England, which fought in France, mercenary army, had to pay, had to pay for the variants. No money collapsed the army. But the rate of decrease in the case of France, a little bit moderate. In this time, no Spain, but uh, the small, uh, small countries, which formed later Spain, lost majority of income. But compared with Venice, decrease of income much more moderate. Why? Because income of Venice came from luxury trade. Who are the buyers of luxury products? Aristocracy. Survival rate of aristocracy much better compared with the lower, lower classes. Therefore, 
increase the strength of Venice, it's a relative increase of strength because the territorial states fall much more compared with the city states. Okay, look at the economic recovery and sovereignty of Venice. Uh, somebody visited in Venice? Who visited? Uh, quite a lot of people. Unimaginable. No comparable city. Home of Europe. Other Italian cities. Genoa, Florence, Rome. Basically different. Basically different. The mention, the official, official sentence uh, of uh, a city, non Latin word, Latin sentence, non Arat, non Seminar, non Vendemia. What mean? Somebody know? We are not plowing, not sowing, not harvesting. No, we are not peasants. We are a city. We are a citizen, a uh, It's very proud peoples. Rising of Venice. Very interesting. No reliable document resources about the formation. No, we have a lot of legends. But no reliable documentary resources. According to legends, the founder of the city, refugees uh, who escaped during the age of migration to the small northern islands of the uh, Adriatic Sea. According to legend, Aquileia was the most important city. Very important peculiarity of the history of Venice during the time of formation was a part of the Byzantine Empire. And the most important part of city, Christian, but Eastern Christian, Orthodox. It was a great conflict during the European history. The first and the most important families of Venice, Eastern, Eastern Christian, not Western, not Roman Catholics. And the most important source of richness of city a spice trade distribution trade not production but distribution uh, which was the basic reason of strength of Venice the first one protection of Byzantine Empire big big brother behind the city for long for a lot of centuries during the high uh, high Middle Ages it's very important support of Byzantine Empire the second one Defensible geographical position. For example, position of Venice, if we are looking at the Adriatic Sea, like a bear. Like a bear. It's small island in the northern part. Very easy to close the entrance of the Adriatic Sea. Here there is a small island. Somebody know which is the island which control the entrance to the Adriatic Sea. Recently it's very popular touristic place. Corfu, Corfu. Recently, quite a lot of Hungarian uh, tourists visit uh, uh, two dominating uh, uh, population, uh, tourist, uh, uh, tourist uh, visit in, uh, in Corfu, Hungarian and English people. I don't know why. Recently, it's very popular. Uh, Corfu, this is the island where possible to control the entrance to the, uh, to the Adriatic Sea. Very, very defensible geographical area. Uh, very high economic adaptivity. No invention which invented in Venice or very moderate rate. But each invention, economic, navigation and financial invention adapted. And the most important ambition of Venetian traders uh, control the spice trade and participated in the Crusades. A crusade opened the way to Near East and two ways used by Venetian traders. First, two possibilities for crusaders travel to Holy Land. The first one, a long continental way to Balkany Peninsula and uh, Anatolia. It's very exhausting. Other way, buying a ticket in Venice and sailing directly to Near East. But very expensive, had to pay a lot for the tickets. And Venetians in this way, Venetians in, the, in this way, gathered a 
huge fortune. Moreover, the Crusaders opened the way, opened the way for uh, location of uh, agencies, Venetian agencies. Uh, this is the slide probably you remember, the most important uh, products, uh, most important economic activity of the southern pole of European economy. Amalfi was the first one, Pisa, General Venice, uh, rivals for uh, domination of the uh, distributor trade. Uh, Oriental spices was the most important products, pepper, nutmeg, ginger, cinnamon, and others. And three rivals, Pisa, Genoa, and Venice. Pisa take out the competition because uh, they came to the war with Florence, and you can follow the history of the war, which started at the beginning of the uh, 15th century, Florence and Pisa, and in the next uh, uh, slide, five years, six years later, Pisa disappeared because Florence occupied. occupied. Therefore, left only two uh, rivals for uh, distributor trade. The war between Genoa and Venice for one and half century with changing fortune continued. The first great battle uh, at Kursula, Kursula recently in Croatia, uh, closed with Jerry's victory. Uh, to the end of the uh, 14th century, Genoa seized Chioggia. Do you know which is the Chioggia? Chioggia, this is the entrance of lagoons, the channels in Venice. Venice falls on the, uh, third, on the, on the threshold of collapse, but activated the last force and uh, uh, Vector Pisani, Vector Pisani, the new Doge, uh, uh, recaptured Chioggia and just destroyed the Genoese flats, uh, fleet, fleet, and uh, uh, the long uh, war period closed the Peace Treaty of Turin. Why important for us? Because the Turin, the Peace Treaty of Turin, uh, closed the war with equal situation. But this is the starting day of dominance of Venice. Why? Because this was the last year when somebody, some other city-state, discussed the dominating position of the Venice. This is the starting day, Peace Treaty of Turin, when started dominate whole of European economy by Venice. Not by chance, the next milestone of domination, occupation of Corfu, the island and trans of the uh, Adriatic Sea, and organization of background, the continental background, Padua, Ver occupation of Padua, Verona, Brescia, and Bergamo. Basically, this is the network of distribution of, uh, of spice. Uh, other reason of uh, domination of uh, domination of uh, of uh, uh, Venice and generally the northern part of Italy are uh, northern pole, northern economical pole of Europe weakened. Why? Because a northern economical pole of Europe, industrial pole, basically produced a cloth, textile products. And why uh, um, why, why, how influence a uh, demographical disaster? Decrease the number of consumer of textile production, therefore income of textile producers decreased. And first reason, demographic decline decreased the demand for uh, industrial products, not only for textile, but uh, metal products too. And up here, a new luxury textile production in Italy. My question, yeah, no, not my question, I, I would like to ask which uh, cities, Milan and Florence. Milan, even now recently, one of the capital of uh, international global fashion, but the career of Milan started in the 14th century, after the uh, decline of northern textile 
uh, industry of low country. Okay, look at how function economy of uh, economy of uh, of Venice. Uh, in the early period, medieval period of Europe, no data, no reliable economical data about the function of state. Why? Because no general uh, documentary source production in, in, the, in this time, a majority of offer organized in oral ver version, no uh, documentation about the, the commons and, and the orts. But some situation, for example, uh, in the case of corruption, a uh, judge and, 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 and uh, 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 government of Venice organize a uh, official uh, official analysis of income and expense of state. Duce Tomasso Mocenico accused with corruption. Therefore, in legal procedure, collected each data about economic affairs of uh, Venetian state concerning 14. Uh, uh, 23. Look at budget of uh, budget of uh, uh, of uh, uh, okay. Do you know which is the national income? National income. How we can define the national income? National products. GDP. It's a a little bit more complicated, but uh, uh, a little bit uh, mean the same. National products, which is the national products? Gross domestic products, GDP. How we can define? Simple if definition, because the uh, majority of audience, not uh, students of faculty of economics. Sorry. <laughs> I have to go. Income of the government plus income of the people. Products. Income is First time. Products. For the manufacturing by the. How we can do that national? Large amount, large amount, 
therefore very popular to be politician. Because the politicians, very frequently, there is access to the half of national products. In the case of the uh, United States, uh, United States, a federal government, only 25 persons, 25 persons. In Norway, Scandinavian country, around 80 persons. Therefore, the scale is very large. Scandinavian in the welfare state, very high the rate of taxes, but everything, for example, health service, education, is free. It's free. In the case of the United States, it's very low, but majority of problem of life, curing education, have to solve personally the citizen. Personally. It's two different directions. Uh, European models, probably in Azerbaijan too, change around 50%, 50%, 50% uh, between two poles. But the starting point of increasing of national uh, of state started from the 15th century, 5 to 10 person. If we are looking at the history, history of the state, increase, increase, generation by generation, century by century, the budget, the rate, the rate of gathering of national products. Okay, uh, we have one variety of data, national income, budget of state was 750,000 ducats, gold ducats in Venice. Gross national uh, income or products of the city uh, may be changed between uh, 7.5 million or uh, 15 million ducats. It depends on the we calculated 5 or 10 percent of of, uh, uh, of taxing rate. Uh, estimated population of Venice on the time uh, 150,000 uh, uh, person. Uh, per capita, the national income may be changed between 50 and uh, uh, 50 or 100 ducats. Population of commercial empire, a lot of, lot of uh, colonies and uh, conquered area, uh, calculated with half million people, and the total national income, whole of the commercial, commercial empire, may be uh, 1.6 million ducats. Uh, monetary flow flowing through the Venetian economy estimated 40 million. It's very boring statistical data. Why interesting for us? Why interesting for us this boring statistical data? It's depend interesting for comparison. We compare the Venetian budget with the contemporary state. Look, in Venice we calculate only with the city the uh, budget of the city may be changed between 750,000 or 800,000 uh, uh, ducats. Whole of the commercial buyer calculated with uh, Padua and Corfu and other <coughs> colonies, maybe 1.6 million ducats. Compare with the Venice. In Venice, uh, sorry, in France, leave 17 million citizens and the budget of the state 1 million ducats. In the case of Spain or the states which later will form Spain 800,000 ducats. England 900,000 ducats. Hungary the best years it's not normal situation. The best years 500,000 ducats. Compare the most important, the, the highest the concentration of the flow of money in Venice was able to dominate all of European economy with help of that. Okay, uh, this is the repeating of the, of the, of the uh, map. How many percent of uh, income decreased after the uh, great 14th century uh, demographical disaster? England lost 65 percent of income. Spain for short term, but lost 73 persons, but Venice only 27. This is the relative 
increasing the power of Venice. Uh, not by chance, uh, in northern part of Europe appeared the first uh, um, meeting of gold currency. First time probably in Genoa, the second Florence, and the last one Venice. My question, before the 14th and 13th century, no meeting of gold currencies. Which kind of, which, which gold currencies used by Europeans? No minting, but used. From which ducats borrowed by European traders. In Europe, no minting of gold ducats, but used gold ducats. Which kind of gold ducats? Arabians and Byzantine. The Byzantine gold ducats was the uh, US dollar of uh, early Middle Ages. Uh, how used the great richness of uh, Venice? Uh, very important if somebody visited in, in Venice the, the <clears throat> islands and the, and the soil of Venice is very unstable. How stabilized? How stabilized the, the surface of foundation? A lot of forest hewed down and take under, push down, dig down a lot of timber to the, to the castles and to the buildings. This is the first, it's very expensive, hewing down and bringing, transporting to the islands from large area and totally de devastated the mountain area of Adriatic Sea, uh, a Croatian coastal area. It's very expensive. Necessary, if somebody worked with timber materials, evidently it's not whole of the life. Using of timber material, wooden material, usable for 20 years or 30 years. After 20 and 30 years, had to reconst uh, re re uh, reconstruct the foundation. Uh, very important advantage of uh, Venetian stay are uh, diplomatic networks, a diplomatic construction of diplomatic networks. A lot of ambassadors and embassy founded whole of Europe and picked the information. Very important and very efficiently usable for uh, commercial efforts. Uh, used a lot of and constructed a lot of trade posts and agencies and organized mercenary troops. Mercenary troops. My question, which nation took the majority of Venetian's soldier? Which Balkanic fought? Serbians. No Serbians. No Croatians. No Turkish. No Turkish. No Greeks. No Bulgarians. It's very close to circle. Macedonians. No Macedonia? Left only one nation. Albanians, no, and of course. Albanians, Albanians, the greatest warriors. Not recently, even in the Middle Ages. Uh, very high the uh, prestige of the Albanians. Look at, for example, uh, Osmani history, a Turkish history. The great Vazir the great general of Turkish army, majority Albanians, Albanians, and the majority of, uh, uh, of mercenary troops came from Albania. It started one millennium ago. Albanians, good warriors, new, not new uh, information. Look at, for example, in the modern movies, for example, thrillers, if you find a great enemies, Albanians, Albanian Mafia is the cruel one whole of the world. Uh, for example, in the thriller movies, uh, I don't know, the, the, uh, Taken, for example. Do you know this is a, a movie, a Taken, with Brian Neeson? Who is the enemy? Albanians. Because this is the greatest warrior, not in the modern time, but even in the high Middle Ages. 
But if this was the case, why couldn't the Albanians create uh, or organize a, a regular army or something? Yeah, yeah, but uh, in the mountain area, moreover, walking to the neighborhood, this is the training. This is the official training with up, down, up, down, up, down. Yeah, no, but Albanians didn't uh, organize a regular or a strong army. Why was it like that? I don't know. I don't know because this uh, uh, officially I don't know the uh, enough deeply the Albanian history. Yeah. But time by time, for example, when I read the history of Osmani Empire, uh, time by time I read, for example, the great Vazir's name, Albanians, Albanians, Albanians. Not by chance. Not by chance. But. Uh, I don't know, uh, the organization of Albanian, uh, Albanian uh, area uh, uh, divided to clubs, a little bit the uh, same li like in Scotland. Very complicated, unified the country because very well defensible local unit existed beside each other. For example, for example George Castriots during the late Middle Ages, the great ally, the Hungarian Hunyadi. It was a, 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 a clan, head of the clan of uh, one territorial area of Albania. But I don't know, the, to the next lecture I will read <laughs> more deeply. Interesting question, but uh, to my point of view, for example, Venetian history, Turkish history, appear the Albanians as an excellent warriors. Century by century. Okay, but for warriors necessary to pay by coins. No bill of exchange, no paper, only coins. Okay, how function a uh, European economy organized by Venice? The core area, the core area, northern part of Italy. Venice, Milan, towns of Lombardy, Genoa, and Florence. The semi-peripheral area, basically German cities, German world, German area. Augsburg, Vienna, Nürnberg, Ratisbon, Regensburg, Ulm, Basel, Stadtburg, Cologne, Hamburg, Lübeck, Bruges, London, and Southern Tom were only out of the continent. If we are looking at the communication axis of uh, Venice, the strongest one, south, Eastern direction, this is the highway of spice, and quite strong to the direction of Iberian Peninsula, to the northern part of continental Atlantic part of Europa, weaker, and reach the eastern part of the uh, western part of Hungary. Uh, which innovation used by uh, Venetians? For example, used a great innovation, innovation which adopted from Arabian Peninsula. Arabian Peninsula, its name, a fondus, its name made compulsory segregated residence. Some community of traders closed one district of Venice. Two, two folks, German and Jews. German and Jews. Why? Because German and Jews trader distributed the spice on the continental area as a subternate of Venetian. And a Venetian trader who organized directly the trade of spice, afraid from replacing of their position. Therefore, uh, Jews close to the ghetto. Ghetto is no uh, uh, prejudice, no meaning, no value, no special. This is the name of the district of Venice. It's named ghetto. But later, the ghetto, this is a district name of Venice, became the synonyms of compulsory closed area of Jews' community. But in the Venice, this is only like, for example, this is a lower city, upper city, for example. In the case of Paris, 
uh, in the France. It's a district, no more. Named together. For German merchant, district named the Fondaco de Tedesh. Uh, basically, in the Arabian Peninsula, it's used in caravan city. How? For example, to the caravan city arrive a new trader. And, for example, this is the idea of caravan city. And for foreign trader, organized a fondux, compulsory segregated area, saved by war, and closed here, saved by war, and saved by city guard. Why? Because a local people didn't know information about the foreign people. It's possible criminal, it's possible dangerous people, and close to the circles by First. Secondly, a trader, it's a dangerous position because for example, a lot of coins and became a victim of local criminals and saved the local people for foreign people and the foreign people saved for local criminals. This is the reason of compulsory area. And they, time, opened the gate and they organized officially the affairs and commercial affairs. It's adopted from Arabian Peninsula. Lot of commercial innovation uh, applied in uh, uh, Venice. Uh, first, gold coast. Look at it. It's a guess. Three cities innovating commercial innovation: Florence, Venice, and Genoa. My question: Which city introduced uh, gold coins? You remember former slide. I show that. We see. General. General. For us was the second. Okay? Check and bill of exchange. A paper, a check which replaced the coin. We see it. But Florence 
innovative uh, maritime insurance. Okay, first, regular sea link between low country and Italy. Genoa. Genoa, is good. And searching a direct sailing route to Indies, West Bank. Genoa. And unbelievable, in historical documentary data, there is that in 1291, one brothers, sailing brothers, very easy to memorize, brothers Vivardi, published one plan that a good way for discover China and Italy have to say best one. Columbus, who performed, was born in Genoa. Genoa. Unbelievable. 200 years later. It's a Genoa. Look at it. First, Genoa. Second, Florence. Third, Florence. Uh, fourth, Florence. Uh, fifth, Florence. Uh, uh, sixth, Genoa. And the last one, Genoa. No Venetian innovation. Nothing. But Venice adopted each of them. And very interesting, in the modern economy, there is a general rule. The most successful enterprises, not the first. Generally the second one. The first, one exception that is under this rule. Who innovated in the modern recent world? Who innovated a great innovation and became successful? Any other, any other Google, uh, Windows, or, or Microsoft, it's the second one. Only one global enterprise, which was the first one and became successful. Do you know which one? Apple. Apple. Any other recently the global economy, from McDonald's until the Microsoft, the second one. The second one. And Venice verified the second one's rule. Each innovation, each part of the uh, Middle Ages economy was the second and the most successful. Okay, we will continue from this slide.